So welcome all dear to the German Zoom, all students and listeners and Dasis and we are so happy and thankful that you have come today to churn some nectar and we hope that you all will be inspired also to speak from your heart what you feel. Today's subject is the verse 211. And the subject is about the living in Vrindavan with an uh, intense feeling of anxiety, of separation. First, I want to quote one nice song, verse, about this, about exactly this uh, feeling of living in, in, in Vrindavan with the feeling of separation. He Radhe Braja Devi Ke Jalalite He Nanda Suno Kuta Shri Gavardana Kalpa Pada Patale Kalindivan Yekuta Do Shanta Viti Savato Raja Pure Kedai Maha Vivalo Vandero Pasanatana Raguyago Shri Tri Vagopalago I offer my obeisances unto the six Goswamis, namely Rupa, Sanatana, Raghunathas, Raghunath Bhatta, Shri Jiva and Gopala Bhatta Goswami, who were anxiously crying out all over Braj. Oh Radhe! O Goddess of Braj, O Lalita, O Krishna, where are you? Are you at the foot of a wish yielding tree near Govardhan Hill? Or are you in the forest near the Yamuna? Where are you? This is the best example for the devotees, how to live in Braj. The hard hearts of the aspirants will melt when they are heated by this fire of separation and thus they will be blessed with prayer. This was actually the end, uh, the last sentences of the verse before. But it is such a nice introduction to this verse. And this verse 211, oh, all, in, all uh, translations are good? I think so, otherwise somebody would have complained. Oh, Shirdi, when will I anxiously live in Vrindavan, remembering the nectar wave of your pastimes, thinking, oh, it happened in this kunj. Here, Shirada, with her enchanting form, played new art full of sports. And here she, the ocean of Rasa, danced with her beloved. Anxiously living in Vrindavan. Commentary. Bereft of transcendental visions, 
Virahi Shripad wanders around in Sri Vrindavan, searching for his heart's oh, beloved Sri Mataji. Oops, now I have an echo. You hear me correctly? Now it's again good. Okay, thank you, Kishori. Bereft of transcendental visions, Virahi Sripad wanders around in Sri Vrindavan, searching for his heart beloved Srimati Radhika. Not being able to see Sri Radha anywhere, Sripad showed the great anguish of love and separation he felt in the previous verse when he was lamenting. Oh, Praneshwari, when will my heart burst into a hundred pieces because I cannot see you? These are all words emanating from his most intimate self. So what is his most intimate self? It is his spiritual self. It is his identity as a maidservant of Srimati Radhika. And as we know, there's a level in bhakti where whether the devotee is in sadakavish, in his uh, external bodily identity or absorption, or whether he is having a vision, it doesn't matter anymore because they are always in their spiritual selves. They are always talking and feeling from their most intimate selves. Weeping and weeping, he becomes overwhelmed and submits his heartache in these verses. Oh, Radhi, I don't have anyone else in this world but you. Please look at me once when you hear me weeping thus. This weeping is the best means of attaining one's beloved. Suffering such anguish is the greatest sadhana. This kind of exclusive absorption in the beloved deity is even a greater treasure than the direct vision of the beloved. Therefore, merciful Ishwari sometimes grants her transcendental audience to the devotee and then vanishes again. So here, this word is important, exclusive devotion. Exclusive is this deep, one-pointed feeling. About 
my Swamini and my desire to be in her association, in her service. And exclusive means that it's not about my self-pity that I am the one that I am weeping about means that really I I want you, Swamini, and I I'm very fallen. I'm very uh, maybe you know I have no good qualifications. I have no good anything, but I want you, Swamini. So this weeping, in any circumstances, Baba says here, is very a great treasure if we have this treasure. If we can somehow weep for Swamini, or weep for the Vaishnavas Association, weep for Gurudev, weep for Vrindavan dust, or weep that I can have more taste to remember you know, Shimati Radhika's good qualities and her merciful nature. All these weepings, they are recommended. They are the pearls of the heart. And these uh, pearls, they are somehow very, very cost costly and and precious and special pearls of the heart. I want to invite the dear devotees and friends and anyone to speak about this pearls of the heart and this exclusive feelings and how we can how we can come closer to this kind of deep um, feelings. Maybe someone would like to share on this. It's okay. Rade, Rade. Rade. So, I don't have that feeling, but I want to share. It's okay. <laughs> Welcome to the club. <laughs> So later on, as Baba say, during Maharasa, Krishna disappear, and then Gopi was looking for. Actually, so anyway. So then, Gopi was almost crying. And then, Gopi is chanting is Gopi Gita. And here in Mungel Raj Mandel, according to a suggestion of our good Dev, Sadhu Maharaj, so every, almost every morning, and evening, uh, some devotees chanting this Gopi Gita. So honestly, I I knew Git, Gopi Gita, but uh, every day singing and hearing. That vibration is because Shrimati Radharani also singing with gopis. So that feeling is somewhat rather, I don't know, penetrate or touching, I'm not sure, but uh, some devotees crying, just, just listening. Gopi Gita is crying. And uh, that kind of a feeling, of Gopi 
if just touching and hearing, and if we are chanting, then some effect may come. I was just hearing Suniti's words. Like when I was a child, I go out with mother. And then mother disappear. Or some, sometimes I could not find out mother. Then what, what I did is just crying. Then other people coming, oh, what they doing, you know, what's wrong with you? And oh, no, I, I'm, I'm looking for mother, mother is, I'm missing. And then mother hearing some or other, then immediately mother is coming. At that time, I don't have any qualification. Just I desire only mother. So I was reading Bilapak Manjari and then mentioned. Here also Baba mentioned. If we don't have anything but Swamini. If we are not interested in anything in this material world, only our interest is only Swamini. Then Swamini must come to us. So this is kind of, we are theoretically know and some devotees crying or just seeing this, this kind of uh, thing or actually only we need that simple feeling. And then this is, I, I'm learning now here in Mungen Raj Mandir. Rade, rade. Yeah, so beautiful, this longing for the mother and coming to these pure feelings of helplessness and surrender. That is a wonderful example. Thank you for sharing this, Jainanaji. And this um, Gopigit vibration, you are right. This is this crying from the heart. We can say to live in Vrindavan, we have to be in Vrindavan. This is a little tricky thing because I experience that when I'm in Vrindavan, slowly I come to Vrindavan. This is what you say, Jainanda Maharaj. You get it in uh, Munge Mandya, no? There you come under this energy of Vrindavan. So, we have to be in Vrindavan to come to Vrindavan. This is to understand, no? Suniti. We can visit Vrindavan and with the body, stay there with the mind, and slowly but steady we enter the real Vrindavan there. This is the mercy of Vrindavan. It's very beautiful. There it's easy to remember the nectar waves 
of the pastimes <laughs> the yoga lucky show Radhe Radhe Dandavat Pranam. I just came late today. Sorry for. Wow. Wow. Um, I want. I just wanted to say that that is that to to be in Vrindavan. Of course, that is the most powerful and most well-wishing thing we can do. But please, nobody should should lose hope. Um, by the mercy of our beloved Gurudev and by Baba and by all the Mahachans, we can. We cannot get the the same, like Gorasundra said, not the same result, like really bodily being there. But we should never give up hope. We can bring Rendavan here also. We have our Takurji, we have our Bhajan, we have our Siddhaswaru, we have everything here. And the more we try to bring Rendavan in our heart, what actually means that? It means what Gurdjieff is saying, love and action in our daily activities and daily daily sadhana and with the outer world we will never have the fa- the force field like it is in brindavan of course but we can you know to a, to to some extent we can we can have that power also here if we make our home our living thing uh, uh, preferable to that and we have giriraj we have tagurjis we have radha mohan whatever deities you have whatever sacred space you have in your home a uh, picture of Vrindavan, picture of Govardhan or Radhakund, and we can really close our eyes and pray to Gurudev and Swamini that she can, for that time where we cannot go to Vrindavan, we can have this experience. I, I had this experience many, many times, but it needs focusing, it needs really a strength of the mind, and then you can sit at Radhakund and you can imagine you being there, and I felt many times the beautiful mercy of Radakund, even here in Gondelsheim in southern Germany. <laughs> so I just wanted to say not we we should not give up hope that we cannot be there right now 24-7, like Gurdjieff is saying, but we can prepare our consciousness. We can make, we can try to raise our consciousness by having things around us, Udipan, stuff that reminds us of Rindavan, pictures, photos, uh, accessoires, that reminds us of sacred Vrindavan, and then it makes many things easier. This I just wanted to add, sorry. Shai Radhi. Suniti Didi? Yes, Radhe, Kopina. Radhe, Radhe. Um, could I just add something to this aspect of crying? Please. So I was just listening to you know, what um, you were saying and also Gora Sundar and Tarun Baba. And then I just thought one time Krishna Chandra many years ago, Krishna Chandra Prabhu from Switzerland said, we should cry that we are not crying. Mm. And that's so, so deep in my heart that I was wondering, like, why are we not crying? You know, like we have, we know our Swamini. We know our Guru Manjari, let's say, we know our identity, but still we are not crying for it, you know. And I wanted to ask Gurudev, like, what is the reason? Because when you look at Brindavan, if you look at Govardhan, there is Govardhan Shila, right? Giriraj. He's a stone, but he's full of feelings, right? The bridge passes don't see it as a stone. They worship they bathe, they do alankar, decoration, they infuse feelings into a stone, then I was thinking my heart is really harder than stone because it's not melting. And I wanted to ask Gurudev, like, why why are we not crying, Gurudev? Crying. Not crying. Not crying means not attachment. Deeply happen to cry. If that attachment is deep, tears you don't need to do for that. It happens that I cannot do for you. Still, I am so far from you. It depends upon the hundred percent attachment and desire. 
When my desire is not fulfilled, then we cry. And love is not intense, one pointed. So it's crying not happening. When the day will come that I'm not crying, I'm crying for that. Beautiful things. So why not I'm crying? It's still so stone. It's still other desires are running behind me. We have to cry. Toy as me, toy as me. I cannot live without you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Gurdiv. This is the this is the whole point. I can say I can feel my heart and I know I am much too comfortable here in this material world. And the more the more I the more we are attached to the comfort of the material world, the less we feel the need to cry for the spiritual world. So we should we should pray for this eagerness that we can we can turn the balance a little bit around. So of course we need a comfortable life here in this world, you always say that, but that it's, I think the whole point is the desire. What is the desire? And if I look into myself, like you said now, Gurudev, there are too many desires in the heart except the lotus feet of Swamini. So if you are honest, if everyone is honest, we can all see. I have all to myself. I don't know. You are more connected, but I feel this. No, no, Gurudev. I'm not yeah. more connected, my goodness. And really, I say, my dear, still mind is running here and there. Um, I suffer. After so all the favorable circumstances is there. After mind is is running for other thing and a tears not coming. That we need to beg from all Vaishnavas when that day will come. Radhe, Radhe, Radha, Sharan, Baba. All good. Yeah. So this is the point. We have to cry. Why not? We are crying. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Go on. Somebody else wants to share on the crying for the crying. Yeah. So now Baba is sharing about the how Krishna has vanished from the gopis during the Maharasa and then revealed himself again to the Braja Sundaris that were afflicted by feelings of love and separation. This is the Gopi Geet, right? The scene also. And these Braja Sundaris, they had given up everything to come and to meet him in the deep forest, in the dead of the night, considering his lotus feet to be the essence of life. And he had caused them to suffer so much anguish of love and separation. The Braja Sundaris wanted to know why on the pretext of questioning him about love in general, 
And Krishna made it clear to them that this kind of exclusive absorption in him caused by harsh separation is absolutely required for attaining him and relishing his service. Sri Bhagavan said, O oh, Sakis, just as a poor person who has, has once gained wealth and then lost it again can never stop thinking about his loss, similarly, the devotees who have once seen me will never stop thinking about me when I temporarily vanish from the vision. This is the point. We never saw her and him. This is why we're not crying. We, are, we don't have enough power in our mind to imagine his or her beauty and even the beauty of Vrindavan. And this is our suffering. This is the leak we have in our life. And we only can pray day and night to get a glimpse of this. To start after that the crying. Because then we cannot live one moment without this view. And uh, we see this on Raghunathas, how his life was. He can, when he, when the vision was leaving, then he was like that person. He was only in suffering then. But actually, for this suffering, we pray. <laughs> it's a little difficult to understand. We pray for suffering. But this is the goal of, of this life in the material body. That we desire to suffer in this way. In love. Yes. To get this spiritual senses to see the beauty and then never forget this. This is we are waiting for. And I have some emergency drops. I brought from Vrindavan, from Radakund. This is helpful. This is some drops from the Radakund. When I cannot be there, you see this? <laughs> Radakund water. We can bring a part of it here to Western country. Another good emergency is this. So? Yes, <laughs> we have many tools. <laughs> Only to remember that we have to do it. You see the good news, they are again coming mm. on board. Everybody. Wow. 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 Italy and Kanai. Wow. Jai Ho. Jai Ho. Amen. Wow. <laughs> 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 yeah, dear. So nice. You are in real emergency. We understand your situation. 
<coughs> we are also planning. <laughs> we are also in emergency. <laughs> we are also. But look, you see, we are sitting on the bank of Radakon now. So yes. <laughs> Emergencies are welcome, ne? like Aura said. For our spiritual uh, development. development or also pushing. We need some push-ups. Mm. <laughs> push-ups for emergency, the desire to cry and to feel in the mood of Rindavan. Yes, and if we speak in the words of Krishna Chandra, ne? it's uh, every day, our lifetime is one day less. So uh, it is absolutely uh, uh, necessary to see this point that our lifetime, I mean, Kishori is, is more far away, but uh, in my age, in our age, we have to think about the limited days we have. So we have to use it properly. So after two years, after two years, Govinda Priya and I booked the flight also, and we wish to please bless us that everything goes well, so that we can visit Guru Dev. Hey, Karun Baba, <laughs> when you flight, coming? Yes, uh, the flight will be um, 31st of March, and we will be in Vrindavan on 1st of April as an April joke. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> oh. So... The Vaishnavas, please bless us for a safe. Everything will go safely. That would be nice. Long time, long time. Wow. Wow. Beautiful. Wonderful. Therefore, in order to make the meditation of his devotees and to simply increase their eagerness, the Lord does not always immediately grant his darshan to them. Ah, a side note, because this was a sweet uh, conversation with the, you know, the Gopi Geet or also when they went after that, the Rasa then started actually. But I just read in the commentary of Baba that Krishna spoke with the Gopis because Shimati Radhika had not uh, appeared yet. And that's why he was speaking like this, kind of uh, making them eager, teasing them. And he was actually waiting for one special gopi to arrive. <laughs> I like this. So Shimati Radhika, Swamini, is even more merciful. When she secretly hears the virahavila the lamentations out of separation of her maid servants she says to herself oh. how will you attain me unless you cry your heart out like that for me Swamini knows very well how to draw her maidservants completely to her lotus feet by making them so eager and anxious. Shimati Radhika is listening. All my feelings, all my tears, or even she recognizes the desire for the tears and the crying and the deep feeling. And she knows how to draw her maidservants completely to her lotus feet by making them so eager and anxious.
meditation. What a sweet meditation. The beloved deity is the enjoyer of bhakti ras. Taking Shyama Sundara or Mohan with her, Swamini secretly hears the Viraha Vilab of the Virahi Dasi. They secretly listen to the crying of separation of them hate servants. Bhaktera Prema Cheshta Deki Krishnira Chamatkar. This is one quote from Chaitanya Taitamrita where it says, even Krishna is, himself is astonished when he sees the loving feelings and activities of his devotees. That's why he became so eager also to taste it, right? He's astonished. He doesn't know how the kinkaris feel, how they are so much in love with Swamini's service and how they are doing their service so expertly. Why they are not in the least impressed by him. He is astonished because he can control the whole world with his charming Dira Lalita qualities. But this, uh, the devotees of Swamini, they are fixed on her lotus feet only. So hearing this and seeing this, Mohan is so astonished that he also wants to taste this service, to become a I was, Darcy. <clears throat> I was just reading recently, in, the, in, in earlier before, like 50, between 50 and 60 words of Radha Rasa Sudhanidhi, that Krishna is even so astonished that he sometimes tried to seduce or try, try to arrange meetings with the Manjaris only to to be even more astonished about their reluctance, about their resistance. So he enjoys that so much that the uh, Manjari they, they say, no, we don't want this. So he is he knows actually that they don't want to, but still he provokes them and he wants to go to them to see this reaction, to see their loyalty to their Swamini. So this is also what is uh, what is Rasaraj wants to enjoy, that this this reluctance, this resistance of the Manjari. So all the time he tries to arrange, but he knows that they won't. But the, it, it's not that, that he wants to enjoy with them. He wants to see the loyalty of the Manjari to Swamini, which he cannot see in Lalita and Vishaka and the others. Yeah, that's why I think the Baba is writing this, Tarun that uh, secretly Shumati Radhika is also taking him. Listen, listen to that, Darcy, crying for service, selfless devotion in the footsteps of other mandris, of other one-pointed Darcy's. Yes, the beloved deity is the enjoyer of bhakti ras. That is really uh, something I, I must admit I often forget it, you know, because I feel that uh, I try and I, but I never think that they could enjoy my trials <laughs> because I feel the trials are very uh, stumbling. <laughs> but they are Somehow these feelings that are coming from our small hearts, they are also appreciating that. And that's very uh, cooling to know, I feel. So even Krishna is himself astonished when he sees the loving feelings and activities of his devotees. I think I think what is also very good to know that <clears throat> we we always have been educated to think so lowly of ourselves and so to so diminishing. But 
I was also reading in the in one of the purports before that Baba made this wonderful story how compassionate and how merciful Swamini actually is. I think we cannot even begin to understand what it means, Karuna Mai, what means that word. So he is making the point that there was a mundane businessman walking, I think, through Vrindavan and he lost his wife and he was screaming for his wife because he felt so much separation from his wife and his wife was called Kishori. So he was screaming so loudly, Kishori, Kishori, and he was crying. But it was a mundane attachment to his, to his wife. He loved her so much, he had no intention of anything with Bhakti, but he cried, Kishori, Kishori, Kishori. And then Swamini heard that, and she said to her mantra, listen, I hear someone is screaming out my name. And then the mandri said, yeah, so what? He's screaming for his wife. No need to interrupt or to intervene. But Swamini is so, is the, com is the personification of compassion. So he, she said, no, it doesn't matter if he is screaming out for his wife. He cried my name and he melts my heart even by crying that name. So she said we should give him mercy. So this is a perfect example of how incredible, merciful Swamini really is. And we should always feel and be comfortable in the thought that whatever we do, ever, whatever approach we do to her lotus feet will never ever be in vain. Like Krishna is saying in the Gita that whatever you do, Arjuna, there will, there will be no loss, no diminishing. So the same is... When we, as, 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 as Sadakas, when we think, oh no, Radhika is so high up there, we cannot go there. She always hears our cries and always hears our prayers and always knows that, that, that I'm sure of that by, by Baba's commentaries. We should feel comfortable to be in this assurance that she is the most merciful and most compassionate. <laughs> Wonderful. Only when this eagerness becomes very intense, the relish of the beloved one comes. One the, thing is dangerous, I feel. What? One thing is very dangerous in this. Because... If we get it, in that moment, we are completely useless for this material world. So then we, we lost the interest in everything in this world. So this is, I think, because we have to wait until that moment. We are ready to give up everything here. Like... For example, one who is leaving his country and like to go to another country. This, this man is ready to give up everything in his country he lived until now and enter in another country. Maybe a German who like to go to Canada. I just met a couple uh, from Ukraine. They like to go now from Germany to Ukraine, uh, to, to Canada, sorry. And uh, they, when they came to Germany, they gave up everything in, in Ukraine. And now they give everything up in Germany to go to Canada. That happened if you are really ready to, to get a new start, a new life. You start with zero. And this simultaneously it happened in our life. We come in the in the contact with the spiritual world. So we will give up everything here. We we become useless for this. And for that we have to be ready. And I think Radhika will wait until that moment we are really ready. 
I'm glad you're saying this now. I'm glad you're saying this now. Isn't because, it? Yes. It is not. I have never had that fear that that the divine couple, you, you sometimes you hear everything was taken away and thing. I, I have the feeling that, like you said now, Gorosandra, the, the moment and the time has to be ready. So they know. They know our hearts. <clears throat> they know our situation. So when the time is right, the circumstances will go. But I wanted just to add what Suniti just, just read about. Was that what Gurudev was saying? Baba was explaining that now, the solution for the problem. He is saying in that purpose, um, the more eagerness is there, the more relish is there. So why are, Kopinat was asking, why are we not relishing? Why are we not having this crying? I cannot say that I'm a big crier for Swamini. I'm too attached to this world. But the more eager, Baba is now saying, the more eager we are, and this every one of us experienced in, in good times and in, and, and in very good times when we have a strong sadhana, when we get up very early, when we do all the things for, in, with love in our spiritual life, the more we are eager, the more we relish and simultaneously mm. the less we are eager <laughs> if we, and the less we relish so it's always like that this is our thermometer if you have a fever you have mm. 40 95 uh, 39.5 degrees so if you are not eager you cannot relish so this we should our prayers would be like Rupa Goswami we should pray for Lopa we should pray for this eagerness and day by day this is actually what we need is eagerness otherwise we we can fill up, we can make debates and we can talk about uh, uh, this relishment as long as we want if we are not eager in our personal bhajan this relishment may not come right. so i'm glad that you said the time will be ready when this is coming and it's so beautiful Baba, when we see our uh, gurus how they prepare their life to come in this uh, situation, uh, like your Baba live in Radakun for I don't know how many years. His whole situation was there, and he could stay peacefully there. And uh, and there was no the, there was no painful stuff. He initiated his his children. You know there was no that was nothing yeah. wrong. Yeah, it was no, all you see. in the hands of Swamini. You see, and also Gurudev, how many years he prepared the situation in Munger Mandir. And I like this very much. Also got uh, uh, family life past, finished fam family life, but not really. He's still in family life also. There is no, uh, the situation is not uh, complicated. So he, uh, he bring his uh, family members also in these circumstances he created there. And for us, he prepared everything. So it's so beautiful to see this. And it's a, it's the best example when we watch our uh, gurus to see how to uh, prepare nicely for our real, uh, 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 what to say, initiation then in the in Vrindavan. When we live there, we could live there. And then we are ready to give up everything here in the material world to become useful there. To become useless. Yeah. And useless here. <laughs> but, you, but you see, sometimes there is also um, another plan working. You see, sometimes Krishna ha or Radhika has a plan for you that you you have to you have to make both balance. You become you, you still has you still maybe have a, a, a thing to do here to become very useful here in this world. And when it, yeah. I think you realize you realize when when actually the time has come to pack your things or to 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 get out of the material world. But sometimes we we still have something to do here, and this uh, we can all feel ourselves if we if we uh, look into our hearts. Yeah. Like this, you know, I cannot imagine now to go full time to the to bring yeah, yeah. So I still have I still have something to do here. And then yeah. at one point it may come, you know, that that things will work out itself. But sometimes the plan is also the biggest challenge is also to make the balance here in this world, to make sure, to go sure. to work every day, to go to work every day and to see everything in the right dimensions and in the right light.
Many yeah. times I also thought when I was in East Coast, yeah, I just go now to India and give up everything. And many people asked me to give up, give up studying for teacher and all that things. And I never gave up that. And I have my job. And I think for most yeah, of yeah. us, the, the rare fortunate ones, they can live in that matter. They can go to India all the time. They can live there for many, many months. But also the, the, the most devotees here have this challenge to make a balance in material life and spiritual life. And I think cool. this is also very important. Baba many times encouraged that you take your, you make your material life a spiritual life, that you see everything in the proper attitude, that you see everything like it should be seen and not black and white. So yes, sometimes, yes. sometimes the spiritual world and the material world, they are working together. You know, it's not like we sit still and we do nothing. So uh, yeah, yeah. it is also very important to, to, to have a guru they've always said to the householders i remember so many times when he was on tour these seven eight years always he said make yourself comfortable and so that you can make your life a spiritual life get in mm. money to the, to help yourself get a house or apartment and then yeah. make a nice nice balance between spiritual life and material life this is for me this is a very important point for everyone who, who, who has to do that. Right, right. And uh, at the same time, we are uh, in this balance. It's still the whole life a preparation for the moment we leave this country here. We go to the spiritual abode. It's all a preparation, but that means not to be in a this is an unripe uh, position if we say, oh, I give up everything, I go to Vrindavan or Mayapur and finish. This is not working. We have many examples in this. So we have to prepare this. And maybe it's a whole lifetime need to prepare this. Yeah, you said, Corazon, uh, we are getting older now. And the only yeah. prayer for people who are now getting older, the only prayer is to, when we talk about leaving the body or leaving this world, the only prayer is what Krishna is saying in the Bhagavad Gita. That what do you think? Uh, you pray to Swamini that you realize the Swarup, that is the foremost prayer. And to leave this world in a good consciousness, in a, in a, to be conscious about everything and to remember who you are, you remember your Gurudev. So this is the most important preparation is not out of you, the most important preparation is inside of you, inside your heart. This prayer should be there that you can, I saw now my father leave, I saw my mother leave, and, and this is not auspicious. So we should pray to Swamini when, when, when this time is coming, when we're going 60, 70, who knows, that we should have this desire to leave the world in a good, good consciousness. Of course, the best consciousness would be if I have realized who I am, but I, you know what I mean. We have to pray for the circumstances that we can have a conscious übergang, you know, to be conscious where we go next. So that is, is a very important prayer. I speak now for myself that this mm. is, you know, when old age is coming, that we are, we are clear and we pray for, for protection to, to have this realization mm. deep inside our hearts. Mm. Radhe, Radhe. Radhe? Ah, Gopinath, yes. Yeah, um, I was just listening now and uh, one thing which came to me is that, you know, some time ago we were reading a beautiful uh, book, like some uh, pages from Sridhar Maharaj of the Suche nach dem Verloren Diener in German, mm. right? And there, uh, Sridhar Maharaj writes, that Bhakti Siddhanta, Saraswati Prabhupada, writes, uh, you know, the topmost goal is Radharani's lotus feet. So, and there he writes, if we somehow manage to get into the circle of Radharani's girlfriends, then our life is successful. Mm. So, actually, we're all winners, right? <laughs> we're already... Sure, sure. Uh, the, the half rent we say in German, no? the halbe meter is already done. <laughs> yes. Gurudev, yeah. Gurudev has accepted us. Wherever we are, yes. already 
the mercy he has accepted. Radharani already has accepted through Gurudev. So yeah. everything actually is can be favorable for us wherever we are. Because if we somehow get into the circle of Radharani's girl, if we somehow get this develop this mood of, of being a Dasi, of being a Kinkari, then our life is already a success, you know. And and I think we are so fortunate that we are together as this family under the umbrella, under the shelter of Gurudev, under the shelter of the Rasik Vaishnavas who are helping us to become permanent in this circle, right? That we really have our permanent job there. And that's what we really are all uh, aspiring, no? To get a permanent mm -hmm. position. Uh, people aspire in the Western world to get a permanent position or a permanent contract, but <laughs> we want that permanent contract. And so we, we got the green card, Gopinath. We got the green card. We, we have only to have to go it, there. But we have to use it. And Gurudev, I wanted to ask you here that why we are still not using, why we are still doubting, why we are sometimes thinking that things are not favorable for me. Or sometimes I lament that, oh, I have so much work to do, I cannot devote. But actually already I have won the ticket, no, Gurudev? Ticket is with me. So why am I not using this ticket? Prabhupada, Bhagavad Gita, 10, 10, when you are signed with Krishna, it takes slow, but it's steady. Mm. Mm. To reach the highest goal. Mm. It's a process slow and steady. Mm. But when you come to sit there, you are also right. My identification changed. Mm. Because our Siddha Deha is a spiritual identification. That Siddha Deha, when greed grows in living in that, in the service, then my position is changed. Before was material greed was too high. Mm. But my spiritual greed become high. So if I am living in these circumstances, we are trying when the day will come in my life. That I can be more close to you. My circumstances not living me. But I want to be in my spiritual sarup and it's my and my material false ego is keeping me out. And we want to adjust there also, harmonize there. We don't want to fight. But slowly, slowly all possibilities come. If the greed is high, so Rupa Goswami is writing about last book. What is the book name? Pustalka Valeri. He said mm. for the to increase my greed. Mm. And second thing, if I need a sthai bhav, that is second issue. So I I have to ask how will come when I am living in my saru. And then we want to this greed to fix in a sai bhav. So when a sai bhav is very greedy, like Raghunath Das Goswami. Raghunath Das Goswami know this that uh, he is a disciple of Rupa Goswami, that he is living and he is living to Rupa Goswami bringing for, to become greedy, to come in a Sai Bhava. And uh, why Vilap Kusumanjiri is the highest book, 
because um, Baba how the mention in Sri Kusumanjali is the super, super. When the Greek for a Thai bhav is coming, and we are start trying to live in that, then is dying from real material reality for the spiritual reality, dying from the material false ego reality to divine reality. That is different uh, stage of greed. And that is also will happen one day in our lives, slowly, slowly. And these two, two books are very special. We have to increase our greedy desire and we have to come to the side of them. If I want to develop my inner greed, I have to stay with greedy people? Yes, that is, we need the greedy people. There are Sikha association, greedy association. And this is the we need. I don't know, maybe my Gurudev, through the Suniti and through all of you, this one platform we, we create to stay, to think in this bhav. Mm. And I select uh, Baba book because Baba is so step by step teaching us mm. how to practice your Siddha Deha and live to the service for Radharan. That is the beautiful book. And this book is the Vilapusam Manjali. Mm. Sri no. Path wanders from Kunj to Kunj in Sri Vrindavan, searching for. Uh, is also the how to create the Nista in Radharani. Yeah. Because up to Utkarka Balari, Krishna is coming. Mm. But Krishna is not only Krishna. Uddhava say Krishna is, Krishna is without energy. He don't understand himself. So what is the Krishna energy? It's Radhika. And Radhika never lives without his dasi. So Krishna means all together. It's not Krishna alone. It's cannot. Bhajananandan cannot. <laughs> yeah, read what you Three parts. When, one. Uh, sorry. When there is uh, the enjoyer alone without the beauty who likes to get enjoyed, what is the use? Yeah. There is a desire, but nothing more. Yeah. Then he is alone, good if and without the uh, uh, object of good. enjoyment. He cannot do it. Yes. Alone, a one soul, two body. No. One soul is one. Krishna soul is one. Two body is Radha Krishna, and. Two soul, one body. 
two soul is in one body is chaitanya chaitanya <laughs> you there you you many times you you said this wonderful answer and now again when when gobi gobinat was asking this good good question why are we still not using our ticket why are we still not having this faith that every circumstance will be favorable i think could if you answer this question so many times and i can see in my own life as long as we are not giving up this controlling mentality of of the purusha as long as we don't give up this i can control all circumstances i can enjoy them and i can control them and if i don't enjoy them i suffer so we we should give up this purusha mentality and really i think for me this 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 is very important point to be completely surrendered and to really have firm faith that all circumstances will be favorable sometimes i struggle with them because purusha mentality is too strong so the less we have this purusha mentality i think the more we can understand the circumstances will be wonderful i can see in my govinda priya she doesn't have this purusha mentality she always sees the circumstances as favorable and she helps me to see them too because i am too much in the controlling and purusha mentality so you many times said this good if and i am glad that this is a very important focus so so you be that i see myself this is the beauty this is the realization and when i see myself i want to develop a size fix nature i want to develop myself too mm -hmm. my saru is only soul consciousness to live in the soul identification and meet with every being to see the other soul also in the day to day life we have to practice that is my realization if i start looking every living being is a soul is a gopi bhav because i start thinking in my soul so i start looking every living being with the soul is a gopi bhav and gopi bhav means i want to see krishna and when i see krishna in that bhav then krishna open the door he say are you want me but you don't know your soul your soul in your siddha deha is radhika your soul how body will stay without your soul my body this material body can stay without so mm -hmm. so is spiritual body also cannot stay without so and your so if you want to be in a spiritual body you have to be with radhika means you have to serve to live in pariyojana loving exchange so we change ourselves to deal everyone in loving exchange any negative thing avoid to think even to dream to talk on that always be positive always be happy inside this happiness is the real happiness when we start living with my swami radhika that is loving exchange we have to live in loving exchange in our day to day in sadhak deha then sadhak deha is easy if i not practice in sadhak deha 
how I can meditate, how it will be condensed, is a mental religion. How I will conceive my spiritual body. How my spiritual body can conceive without if the mind is not condensed in thinking. I suggest to everyone, one is a Baba teaching, and Baba is teaching how to realize the past time, to live in the past time, but how to enter in the past time. That has to more detail explain. Like Goranga Sundar is telling, to explain the how to be in that past time to realize. That realization, that preparation is the tattva. He gave the tattva to go in Leela. In the same place, in the same and, uh, subject, he always mentioned this. And this is the beauty of his explanation. He explained so nicely, this is the beauty. I nowhere I see these things. And only meditate and live in this. <coughs> All the subjects will be constructed here. If you see Prabhupada, in page 4, he writes Sarup and Sarup Siddhi. What is Sarup? Then he said, by your devotional practice, you realize your spiritual identity. And you start living to develop this perfection in Sadhakdaya and Siddhadaya. Then it will be perfect. I, I have no Siddhadaya, or I have no idea of that. But how we, we will practice? This is the way to practice. To live in the soul consciousness everywhere you will see. When you will see the Radhika, Samni, every place, everything you will see Radha Rani. Everywhere. But we need the East today for that that I can meditate and I want to see her. Why is this? What is my goal? Is the Deva or Guru Dev? When the goal is there, then Guru Dev has how to reach that goal. Actually, Guru Dev means we have to live with Swamini. We have like a child lives in, at home with his parents. Yeah. We have to feel that we have to live with her at home. And only here, in every living being, every action, I have to meet Swamini. What is happening in my life, day to day life is only this. And when I will not see my soul and other soul, it will not become divine. That is need the bhajan to improve my consciousness. She will come then, like a soul will clear, and you will feel the soul everywhere. You will be clear to see Swami. So simple. So because they, huh? the bhajan clears your consciousness. Yes. <clears throat> and then there is soul to soul. Yes. I always say about family life, 
and now I'm living with the family. 24-7. Yeah. <laughs> One is genetic family. They are also living. And a spiritual family. This temple is the family temple, right? The family means his spiritual family and genetic family. Right or not? The family. What is the family? Family means you, 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 they will also receive some vibration. How you come from outside, you receive or not vibration. Somebody is more open, somebody is more thick, more covering takes time. But time will come, one day has to realize this is the mercy of Somni. Because she is the head of the family. Head of the family. Who is the head of the family? No, no, no. But in the family, who is the head? The mama. The, the mama is the head. And, and you see, mama, and is a center. She is the center of this whole activities. Or not? Yes. Right? Niti, who is the center here? But when the mind is fixed in the center, what is the problem? So beautiful sharing. Yeah, go on. Die, Daddy Gurdi. Baba words are the song. Yes. Poem. And the Vani, golden words. Prepart wonders from Kunj to Kunj in Sri Vrindavan, searching for his beloved Ishwari. Who is the searching? natural. Yes, he is searching, Gurdi. Who? The Kinkari is searching. Wow. Kavadananda Saraswati is a kinkari. Mm -hmm. Sripad wanders from kunj to kunj in Sri Vrindavan, searching for his beloved Ishwari. That is the mood. While being in Vrindavan, everywhere, where is my Swamini? How can I serve my Swamini? One point. One pointedness, yes. And the natural beauty of Sri Vrindavan strongly remind Virahi Sripad of Sri Sri Radha Mohan's Leela Ras. Yeah. He is in this mood of separation and he remember, wow, this happened and this happened. He's He's in separation and yearning for meeting. But. And he thinks, in this kunj, my Mohanangi Radha has played hundreds of ever fresh, artful pastimes with her dear most Mohan. So these thoughts, Mohanangi is so beautiful because also this. Ananga is inside, so we are reminded of Kama Gayatri. Mm -hmm. Ananga means when they are locked together to become one. And Mohanangi is, means she is so close together with Mohan. <coughs> the word Mohanangi is understood to mean her body becomes beautified by Mahabhav. And that enchants Shyama Sundara, the Sakis and Mandarins. Wow. Sripad remembers the previously seen sweetness of Mohanangi's new artistry. Mm -hmm. 
in love. The remembrance of this honey sweet love artistry expands a great relish in Sripa's heart that was burning in the fire of love in separation. During Smaran, Swamini infuses unlimited coolness within the heart of her kinkari, uh -huh. who is burning in the fire of separation. By giving her the relish of her own pastimes. Wow. This is so beautiful, isn't it? Wow. During Smaran, Swamini infuses unlimited coolness within the heart of her kinkari. So. Mm. Wow, this is Sma interesting. Smaran is also a kind of meeting Gurudev. And Swamini, yeah. Swamini is also looking this Smaran of her kinkari and giving her infusions. Un unlimited coolness. This is uh, this word is for me is uh, uh, so important because nobody can be cooler than Manjari. Wow. There is no, there is not possible. We can imagine we are watching everything when the holy couple is together. Wow. Manjari is watching all, everything. There is no hiding. But they stay wow. cool. They are not attached on this. They stay cool. <laughs> wow. That means unlimited coolness. Wow. The Saki is not cool. <laughs> they got. They also like enjoy that when they see something or imagine. But yeah. Manjar is never, never attached. They they stay cool. Uh, <laughs> and they feel the meeting. They see the Swamini is very near to me. Only in Asmaran is happening. Yeah. Even in dream is happening, and they feel cool with this. <laughs> hmm. And and Swamini is giving Gurudev. She yeah. is giving the relish of her own pastimes. Wow! How cool! And uh, <laughs> is cool too much. It is. <laughs> So this is also nice because sometimes we feel, how can I do smaran? But actually, if we are open for this receiving from Swamini also, it's it's happening. It will be happening. Right, Gauravani? You are so quiet today, my Gauravani. He's so absorbed and relishing, my dear. Rade, Rade. Yes, actually, I'm really relishing. Gurudev is sharing so much, and Gopinat, and you all, and Tarun, and what I can say is so much nectar today. But I was just thinking that. When a kinkari is running around in Vrindavan, maybe that picture could be far. Maybe for me it's far. So how we could do this in our daily life? If we are running through our flat, we can see, yes, this is Radharani's kitchen. Here I am helping her to cook for her beloved. This is the bathroom. Here I will prepare her. I will 
helper washing and make shringar and in this way we can help our mind to more and more concentrate actually on the real self because if I feel sad, for example, I can think, yes, I feel sad because I'm missing something in the material life. But I can also think, no, this is not the point. <laughs> I feel sad because I'm missing my Swamini. That's why I'm sad. So what to do now? In this way, I can give the mind some hint, some direction where to meditate on now further. So if my mind is now running into, oh, I'm missing Seva, I'm missing I'm missing my real identity. then the mind has a direction. We can see the mind as a helpless child. The mind is not bad. Baba is telling this also, Anandadas Babaji is explaining this actually. The mind is not bad. Actually, it's like a child. We have to use it properly. But therefore, we have to feel what we really miss. And Anandadas Babaji is giving us such a nice picture what we should miss. Uh. And what we enjoy, actually. He's saying it's such a sweet thought just to think I am the servant of Radharani. I cannot survive without you. My existence will not exist if you are missing in my life. I will lose my spiritual body. My spiritual body will leave me if you are missing in my life. You are my everything. And that way, in my sadhak deha, always we have to do what is has to do, no problem. But it should, mind has to think that you are not doing. Why you think that I am a doer? Mind has to be think that I am doing for you. Mind has to fix for Swami. All is by us. But mind will go out when you will do. But not, but think on, again bring to the mind that he, I am doing my Swami job. She put me there, here I am doing. She put me here, I am doing. All is your job, I am your dasi. 
I am your Dasi. I am your student. Sri Radha. Swamini infuses coolness within the heart of her kinkari that is burning in the fire of separation by giving her the relish of her own pastimes. Yeah. In Leela Smaran, a consolation can be gotten, like some shelter. Consolation, some feeling of home and some feeling of connectivity. When Smaran becomes intense, one thinks the himself to be directly witnessing the Leela. When Smaran becomes intense, one thinks himself to be directly witnessing the Leela. On the level of Prem, the Leela Smaran. Yes, Gode? Condense. Condense. Mm -hmm. uh, condense. How will you I will condense? Keep the milk in the fire, fire and you have to soak the lamp fire and then you not need to move from there. Milk, if you move for no, 10 minutes or 5 minutes, it will never become condensed. You have it to leave. Work. Live on till they become condensed. How thick you want to do, you have to condense, you have to move the milk. You cannot keep it like this. Mm -hmm. Moving means you have to check yourself. Steering. It's steering, it's steering. Mm -hmm. That is more, is a, is in fire is taking or not? Very hot or slow fire. You see that? How you make the condensed milk? Like I said, So mind has never to move here and there. And my mind nature to jump here and there. So mind has to be friendly. That please help me to not jump. You help me to stay in one place that I can use it to make the condense my milk. Right? Wonderful, yes. That is a secret. Don't go from the stove while you are cooking. You <laughs> do. <laughs> Why? God has not know any philosophy. But when he talk on the asaiva, he carries the all thing because he, he is condensed. He is making his milk condensed. He makes for the flat repair, but he say, I am working in the cooking of Radhika. Mm -hmm. Always he condenses his milk. He is hiding man. He never practice anything. But he realized by the mercy of Anandas Babaji, by reading his books, and now he, he realized everything because he condensed his milk. Where did he go out? By your mercy, Gurudev. I know he's naughty. He's very naughty. He, he, I was talking one day, he ran away because I talked different subjects. 
Then I said, why you go? He said, I don't be interested in what you are talking. Yeah, I am not interested. So he's so condensed. <laughs> But can it happen that we to make too strong a fire and we can burn? Hmm? No, if you have a too strong fire, then what happened to the man? Gets burned. Boro, why? You right? Huh? Again, question. Now, if the milk is in too strong fire and you make the heart, what will happen? It will burn. I'm saying English. I said it will be burned. Huh? It will be burned. So Guru Dev is controlling the fire, <laughs> cooking us in the right. Slow, steady, even slow. I Prabhu Bhas say, slow and steady. Because this slow is because you have to keep slow. <laughs> you have to slow why? to relax. Not only make the philosophy, you have to realize slowly. And how much you will realize, you will be, this will be your subject. Without in Raga Bhakti, your realization is not your subject. Now, anything you make condense, you know how to make condense or not. We have to learn from Niti Didi how to make content, right? So mind has to be one-pointed to condense in Radha Rani, right or not? My mind is going here, there, there, there. And if I want to condense my mind for Radhika, how to do? We have to keep in the slow fire, means slow, steady and one-pointedness. No need to rush, one day not possible, but slowly it will change. We have to put it on your stove. For your yeah. <laughs> Go on, sorry. Very nice cooking with Niti Didi. Yeah. Yeah. On the level of Prem, the Leela Smaran becomes so intense that oh, it gives yeah. birth. This, I love these things. Mm. Baba. On the? On the level of Prem, Gurudev. Um, if the love is there, There are many levels of prema. You know, many levels. Yes. Level of prem. Now you see which level we are. In the level of prema. The Lila Smaran, the remembrance of the of the pastime becomes so intense that it gives birth. To the intuitive experience that one has a direct vision. Wow. But to a new world, mental conceived body, first time I listen and I remember this. I take time to understand what is mental conceived body. And one today new word. Again, read again. On the level of Prem, the Lila Smaran becomes so intense that it gives birth to the intuitive experience of a direct vision. You see? Give the birth.
to go deep in direct visions. Wow. Intensity gives birth, Gurudev. First we have to see prema is which is stage prema. Come. Yeah. What is the first? First, I don't remember. Ah. What is the first? Ah. So remember? On the level of Prem, on the level of Prem, the Lila Smaran becomes. Uh, yes. First level is what? First level is the. Uh, Shraddha. Ah, Shraddha. Shraddha. Yeah. Then we. Shraddha Sangha. Yeah. Bhajana Griya, Nishta, yeah. Anartha Nivriti, Murati. Rati. So, an ashakti bhav brema. Rati is the first. This is a sadhak deha, but rati is the first. Rati means last jiddha. Last. One is a material last, one is a spiritual last. Rati is the wife of Kamadeva. When Rati comes, my, my mind does not work. And here, when Rati comes, my mind becomes one pointed. Oh. Rati is meaning of Govardhan. Go Vardhan means go means senses, Vardhan. Increasement of the incentive, incentive, incentive. Intensive, uh, intensive motive, yes. A spiritual desires. Is there a thing? Intense, yeah, it is intense. And Desire is a go vardhan. Go means senses, increasement of the desire of the one pointedness. That is go vardhan. Mahaprabhu gives go vardhan sila and gunjamala. Mm. Das Goswami. Develop only one intense desire in the lotus feet of Gunjamala. This Govardhan will help you. So he, he started intense desire with Govardhan. But Gunjamala, he no see that. Then he want to jump out. Then Sanatar Goswami become angry and say, go to Radha Kun. Sit there, why you want to leave this body? This is to use. Then he come to Radha Kun. Then he realized Gunjamata. These are all teaching he is giving by Acharyas. So they are Mahajans. But Arthi time by and is so deep subject to your every word is deep here. I have to remember this word to take what what is that? Leela Smaran in the level of Prem becomes so intense that it gives birth to the intuitive experience that one has a direct vision. I will underline Guru. Yes, please send to me. I have to yes. meditate. Yes. And the point, this is the point of self realization. You go in more and more deep realization.
मेंटल कंसीव बॉडी मेंटली कंसीव बॉडी When I listen mental religion, I was very confused one day. अरे, the supreme religion is telling the mental things. But when I understand mental conceive body and mental religion, then I understand mind is so important. All the problems start from my our mind. Mental relation is mental mind has to accept this relation. Mind deny that no relation happening, and without is to the mental religion, religion you not understand. Is to nista will come mental religion understand. Mentally conceive body. When you will realize it, conceive body is my spiritual identity. Is fact when mind conceive it, and you want to live there. If I want to live without mind, not I can live. I try without mind also. But I cannot practice. I am honest. I try different, different way to do. When I am traveling, that was my position. I try to do, but my mind is different place. Without conceiving to the mind is not working. I lose my vision. Twenty-two years. I am not crazy. For what I am doing for? For my bhajan sadhan? No, no, no. For love, puja, pratistha. For nothing. I lose my. I think that without mind, I will give to them, and I will share to them. And I will not conceive my head. A spiritual body. I will not necessarily have to do mental will. Now I realize it. Anandas Baba Ji. I cannot imagine him. His words. Siddhavani, golden words, now, sorry, don't say to me to say. <laughs> we are so lucky today, Uri. Our only intention is to hear some of your nectar drops no, of our life. What is to be this words? After sickness, my mind become more weak. No, 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 Guru. On the level of prem, the lila smaran becomes so intense that it gives birth to the intuitive experience that one has a direct vision. Again, I repeat. Again. On the level, on the level of frame, the lila smaran becomes so intense that it gives birth to the intuitive experience that one has a direct vision. Wow! Uh, this is the meditation. Mm -hmm. Yes, this we will go on. Chewing Medi and meditate on this. Yes. And share on this. Well, which stage is Prima coming? 
जयराज नित्या जय रीता है जय नीता है जय राध गुरु Thank you all. Thank you all so much.